let's uh, let's review it. Let's do the whole thing. We're gonna run through the whole thing, and then we're gonna kind of go back to the beginning and start taking a look at some of the uh, earlier uh, stances in detail. Yes, sir. So we're gonna start right here. Turn, return horse to the stable. Hard and soft. Hard and soft. Crane walking. Crane walking. Descending arm, hand and waist. Descending arm, hand and waist. One finger asks a question. Finger asks a question. Crane punching. Crane punching. Fist through the sleeve. Fist through the sleeve. Hard and soft. Hard and soft. Crane walking. Crane walking. Descending arm, hand and waist. Descending arm, hand and waist. One finger asks a question. One finger asks a question. Crane wing punching. Crane wing punching. Fist through the sleeve. Fist through the sleeve. A crane. Pecking. Crane pecking. Revive the crane. Revive the crane. Flying crane. Flying crane. Hungry crane stands on one leg. Hungry crane stands on one leg. Hungry crane captures shrimp. Hungry crane captures shrimp. Flying crane. Flying crane. Hungry crane stands on one leg. Hungry crane stands on one leg. Hungry crane captures shrimp. Hungry crane captures shrimp. Crane's head punching. Crane's head punching. Crane's head punching. Crane's head punching. Dragon whips its tail. Dragon whips its tail. Monk summons corpse. Monk summons corpse. King the tiger, shoot the tiger. King the tiger, shoot the tiger. Feet together. Sir. Good. All right. Whew, that's the whole thing. Um, so uh, let's go way back to the beginning, all the way back to the beginning. So the very first thing we do is our hard and soft crane walk. Okay. Sir. This one starts uh, at the end of tiger, um, but it starts with two elbows. Okay. Yes, sir. So these are elbow strikes, and then they start back fist strike. We have we've seen the same thing in our poison hands. Yes, sir. It's, it's very similar to that elbow strike and then the back strike. This one, this one comes a little bit differently um, because it's is turning into this strike rather than well, I mean, it's still this where we can still turn like we would for our poison hands. Yes, sir. Um, but we're we're changing our stance. So our stance here, these are back fists. So when we do this, um, you wanna make sure that those wrists are nice and solid, okay? Because uh, when we do this back fist, when that strikes, that's gonna be a nice, solid, hard strike. Yes, sir. Okay, so um, we learned quite a bit about like when we're loose and when we're hard, when we stiffen up, make sure that we're stiff right at the end of this strike. Okay, yes, sir. Um, and make sure that, because I, I see this a lot with the other students, don't, don't limp wrist it. Okay, very solid, good. That's gonna be the first one. Nice solid strike, and then we're gonna come to chamber, reset that left foot, right foot. We're gonna pivot, get into this cross stance, and then our horse stance. Yes, sir. So then our descending arm, hand, and waist. These two hands are they're working kind of at the same time. We're we're dodging and we're blocking at the same time. So this is a um, well we, we talk quite a bit about how uh, our blocks are never just the block. Say the best block is to not be there. Um, sure. So that's what this one is doing. This one's actually a, um, we're slipping through. So I had a, <laughs> it's easier if there's a person here, so he was punching me. But the idea is that somebody's coming at me, they're trying to punch straight for my face, and I'm avoiding them. Okay. So that's the first step of this, is to avoid that punch. The punch is coming towards you, avoid the punch. Second thing that's, that's happening is this hand is coming up to check because um, that person may be an experienced fighter. They may, they may punch a number of people before. If they see you move, that fist is just going to follow your face. Yes, sir. So what you do is you do what we refer to as a side strip. Okay, so you're kind of slipping in. You're getting behind them. This hand is checking that arm is to make sure that that punch doesn't hit us in the face. Um, and one of the things that I constantly talk about is how um, we need to keep that elbow a little bit bent. So it's bent but not bent, straight but not straight. Okay? Yes, this, uh, when we do this, your primary target is gonna be that person's elbow. All right, so as we're 
dropping in, strike that elbow as hard as you can. Yes, sir. Slipping, slipping underneath. This other hand is meant to go strike them in the ribs. So the idea here is that if somebody's coming in for that punch, um, you're slipping behind them, you're getting directly behind them, and you're striking right up into their kidneys. Yes, sir. All right. Um, I don't know if you guys know where the kidneys are. They're, they're like between, right at the bottom of the rib cage. They're really high up. Um, but you want to go, ooh. If you, if you strike yourself just at the bottom of that rib cage right there, it doesn't feel very good, does it? You're gonna, you're gonna kind of feel like, you're, gonna, you're almost gonna feel like you're, you're getting knocked out of breath a little bit. Um, but yeah, that's where we're going. We're slipping in and we're striking up. And so um, there's a, uh, those of you that are in class, and you can see that on the, the skeleton, there's, a, there's that one bottom rib that's not attached to the rest of the rib cage. And so that rib at the bottom that's not attached is very easy to break. Yes, sir. Okay. Um, for the most part, it's, it's, it's got all these other ribs on top of it that kind of protecting it from getting hit, but very rarely do we ever have a, a blow that's coming up into it. So that's kind of the idea that we're slipping away and we're going for that that one bottom rib, okay? Yes, sir. The detached rib. Okay, let's uh, let's do those first two moves and let's just kind of think about the application on this one. So I'm gonna run us through this one. First thing we're doing is we're coming for those elbows, we're striking with those back fists, okay? Coming into chamber, pivot on that toe, and we're down. We're slipping past a punch. There's a punch coming to our face, we're slipping past it, and we're striking low. Yes, sir. Good. Okay, so now our next one is, if, if, if they miss that first punch, they're gonna do a second punch. And what we wanna do on this one is, we're doing our one finger ask a question. This is coming up to block a punch, all right? So here's the tricky part about this one. We still wanna, we still want to avoid the punch while we're blocking it. Um, but we're already in our bow stance. So what we wanna do is we want to sink in that bow stance. Okay. So when I do this sink, um, I'm, not, I'm not bending forward. I'm not bending forward to go lower in my sink. I'm sinking in my leg. Okay, yes sir. And then um, one of the things you may notice is that when we do this, in order for this to be a proper bow stance, the, there's a line that goes from the top of my head down to my feet. So I try to maintain that straight line as we do this block. So it's just getting underneath that punch and stopping it and getting closer to your face. Yes, sir. Good. Um, one mistake that I see a lot of people do is they will look down. Don't look down. We still want to keep our eye on our threat. Um, and we don't want to bend forward where we lose our balance. Yes, sir. Okay. Whew, that's a lot of detail. Yes, sir. <laughs> okay, so we're going to start here. We're gonna do our hard and soft. Hard and soft. We're doing those back fists. We're walking. We're walking. We're sending our hand away. So we're avoiding that punch. And we're avoiding the second punch with our one finger ask the question. One finger ask the question. Good. Okay. Um, it's a little, uh, if you have a mirror at home, um, this, this is a good time to use it if you can see yourself in that mirror. Um, Check yourself in the mirror to, uh, to actually make sure that when you're doing this, um, you're keeping that, that straight line as you sink. So it's easy to see in the mirror. You can step forward if you have to and see yourself in the mirror. But just to make sure that that's a, it is a straight line going down as you sink, rather than it being a bend forward. to do um do that entire thing again we're gonna do the whole section of the crane section um, and we're gonna try to incorporate those little bits of correction yes sir we start here we do our hard and soft hard and soft crane walking crane walking sitting arm hand waist sitting arm hand waist one finger ask a question finger ask a question crane punching crane punching fist through the sleeve fist through the sleeve hard and soft hard and soft 
walking, walking. Sitting arm hand away. Sitting arm hand away. One finger asks a question. One finger asks a question. Crane. Punching. Crane. Punching. Fist is asleep. Fist is asleep. A crane. Pecking. Crane. Pecking. Revive the crane. Revive the crane. Flying crane. Flying crane. Hungry crane stands on one leg. Hungry crane stands on one leg. Hungry crane. Capture shrimp. Hungry crane capture shrimp. Flying crane. Flying crane. Hungry crane stands on one leg. Hungry crane stands on one leg. Hungry crane. Capture shrimp. Hungry crane capture shrimp. Crane head punching. Crane head punching. Crane head punching. Crane head punching. Dragon whips its tail. Dragon whips its tail. Monk summons corpse. Monk summons corpse. Tame the tiger. Shoot the tiger. Tame the tiger. Shoot the tiger. Good. Yeah, you guys have all that? Okay, yes, sir. Um, run it on your own once, see how far you can get. Um, and I think we'll be on time for class. Okay. Yes, sir. Self-master required a creative spirit. A creative spirit has no self-doubt. The path of self-master requires a creative spirit. A creative spirit has no self-doubt. The path of self-master requires a creative spirit. Creative spirit has no self-doubt. Dismissed.